Hello friends, this video on reproductive health part 10 is brought to you by examfear.com. No more fear from exam. Now, there is also something known as medical termination of pregnancy. Now, what does that mean? Termination means to terminate, means to finish, to complete something. So, what is the meaning of medical termination of pregnancy? It is also abbreviated often as in short, it is known as MTP. So this is intentional termination of pregnancy before full term. So this is intentional termination of pregnancy before full term. So what do we mean by full term? So full term would mean the entire gestation period of nine months. So once a female gets pregnant, so the, by, by the time the uh, zygote actually develops into a baby which is ready to be delivered it takes nine months so now if the female by her choice if she voluntarily gets the pregnancy terminated that means if she get the child aborted that is known as medical termination of pregnancy it is also known as induced abortion and it happens voluntarily at the will of the uh, couple or the female now there are many advantages not many advantages i would say there are many disadvantages associated with induced abortion now you might ask if all are disadvantages then why do we have this method at all now we have it because there are certain scenarios where this is really required now sometimes it happens that a female is uh, pregnant but there is there are some complications within her body which can be fatal either to the fetus or to the lady itself if she continues to be pregnant so in that cases it is recommended or it is advised by the doctor to get the baby aborted so in those cases it is required and that is why we have this technique of abortion but these days it has been observed that people are misusing it in some other ways as well so that is why most of its advantages have been hidden behind the disadvantages because people misuse it. So the advantages, as I said, sometimes in emergency situations where continuation can be fatal to either the fetus or the mother, in that case, there is no point because when you know that either the mother might uh, die or the baby might die later, so in that case, there is no point continuing with that kind of a pregnancy. To get rid of unwanted pregnancies due to sexual crimes like rapes where the female really do not want to have a baby. So in th those cases also uh, it can be used. The abortion can be used as a technique. So let us look at some of the disadvantages which are many when compared to the advantages. Female feticides. Just now I was telling you right. These days people uh, get a sex determination done as soon as a female is pregnant. If they see that it is a baby, it is going to be a baby girl, they just kill it. So how do they kill it? By induced abortion. So that is a big misuse of this technique. And that is why our law has strictly told that sex determination is Come is not at all legal and so is female feticides but still there are some clinics somewhere in the rural areas or somewhere which who are doing this illegally risk in illegal abortions because when abortions are done in many cases it has been seen that not very expert doctors do it sometimes even uh, unprofessional or unqualified quacks also do it and that can be hazardous for the health of the female it can also be fatal social stigma attached to abortion because now many people think that okay getting it aborted is not a nice thing to do right there is there are too many things involved one thing is let us suppose you want to get it get the baby aborted why now the baby is not causing you any harm it is not that you have some medical issues if you continue with the baby it might you you might die or something like that if some such situations are not there in that case we have this in our mind that basically getting the baby aborted is nothing but killing a baby correct so which is not at all right so there are many social stigma attached to abortion now which which are, which are all in a way negative mtps by unqualified quacks can be unsafe and fatal as i said uh, in these days it has been seen that many doctors who say that they are doctors but they are actually not even they try to do these kind of things because they know that well qualified doctors will not do such illegal stuffs 
so they in order to earn money they uh, say that okay they will do all these kind of illegal abortions and finally what they end up making no money and at the same time the female also experiences something which is not good for her health sometimes the female can even die because somebody who is doing it he is actually playing with parts of your body without knowing how to do it so this is extremely risky so that is why it is always advisable not to go for induced abortions until and unless it is something advised by the doctors thank you please visit www.examfear.com to watch more videos attempt free online test get free study material find tutors and mentors thank you once again